And that's why constantly in Hollywood, people are miserable. Constantly. Just this week, everybody's talking about, oh, Robin Williams committed suicide. Why? Because he's miserable. You know why? Because he doesn't follow Christ. Because he doesn't deny self. Because these Hollywood actors have everything and indulge everything and they just, it's all about selfishness and them. And you say, oh, don't get on him. Don't get on Robin Williams. You know what? I haven't even started getting on that cross-dressing freak yet. You want me to get on Robin Williams? And I'm sick and tired of Christians who sit there and exalt. You know what the Bible says? You know what the Bible says? They that forsake the law praise the wicked. But such as keep the law contend with them. And it's a sad day when Christians today are eulogizing and praising and saying, rest in peace, Robin Williams. Robin Williams is burning in hell. And the Bible says they have no rest day nor night in hell. That's a hateful thing. It's not a hateful thing. It's just a statement of fact. I don't hate Robin Williams. Robin Williams is burning in hell today because he did not believe on Jesus Christ. And he stood up as a stand-up comedian and mocked the Lord Jesus and made money by mocking Jesus. Mocking Jesus, mocking the Word of God, mocking the Scripture for money. Then he gets up on screen and plays homosexuals. He plays cross-dressers. He plays all kinds of other wicked parts. I mean, what, the, I mean, I don't really know a lot of his movies, but the one movie I remember from when I was a kid, he spends the whole movie in drag, dressed up like an old woman. That's not cool. That's an abomination. And so, you know, people today, they praise and they eulogize and they, oh, you know, what about all the other people that died that day? I mean, why don't we just get a newspaper and pull open the obituary and I guarantee you we can find a better person in the obituary any day than Robin Williams if you want to just be sad. I mean, if you just like to be sad about people who die, let's go by the obituary page and find a nice person for you to be sad about. Maybe we can even find a Christian person. Maybe we can even find somebody that didn't blaspheme Jesus and that didn't dress up like a woman and that didn't promote homosexuality. And then we could get sad about that. But you're sad about your, uh, your actor hero because you're worldly. Yeah. And you know why he hanged himself like Judas Iscariot? Because he was miserable, because he indulged himself. And you know what? If you, child in this room that's hearing me, or teenager, or young person, if you live your life where my life is just me, 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 ice cream, cake, candy, play, 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 fun, 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 if you live your life like that, you're going to end up the same way that Robin Williams and Judas Iscariot ended up. Yep. Why? Because it's a miserable way to live your life. And you kids now need to learn to deny yourself and learn how to work. Learn how to force yourself to read the Bible. Learn how to get something done.